Good morning, morning volunteers. volunteers. I'm Daniel. And I'm Karina. And, and welcome, welcome to, to this week's episode of Lee TV. Hey, Daniel, want to hear a joke? Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. No one who? Let's hear some more jokes. Do you call a man with no body and no nose? I don't know what. Nobody knows. I <laughs> can't your nose be 12 inches. Why? Because then it'd be a foot. <laughs> so dumb. What do you call a man with no body and no nose? What? Nobody knows. What do you call a man with no body and no nose? I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> the Chinese Culture Club will be on Wednesday, October 4th, 415 to 445 in the ISA building, room 205. Mooncakes and green tea will be provided. See, See you there. Zai Qian. Hi, I'm Eliana. I'm from the CNA certification course and we what we do is we go to an off-campus location called the Good Careers Academy. We practice skills and we study for the test that we're going to take that will certify us for a nurse's assistant. When we're not at the Good Careers Academy, we're here studying ethics and other things that relate to what it means to be a certified nursing assistant. Lee's I Am Second group invites you out to see you at the poll this Friday. Rescheduled from last week due to rain, we will be meeting at the flagpole this Friday at 745. The theme this year is Fix Your Eyes. We invite all to gather for student-led prayer for our school and community. We hope to see you at the poll Friday, October 6th before school at 745. On that note, I Am Second groups are starting. We have groups meeting at 4th lunch in M205 on Wednesdays, during 6th lunch in M200 on Fridays, and after school in M201 on Thursdays. Come to I Am Second group to learn what it means to be second and to live second. The Hispanic Heritage Month celebration will be held at the library October 4th during all lunches. We will be playing Loteria. Next week is Teen Read Week. Come check out a book and sign up to be in the daily drawing for four gift certificates each day for Barnes & Nobles. Each certificate will be worth $20. If you owe a fine for an overdue book, you only have to pay one half the fine. The library will forgive the rest. Good that week only. Anime Club first meeting will be held Wednesday, October 11. Lee Homecoming is October 28th in the Littleton Gym from 7 to 11 p.m. Vote for your Homecoming Spirit Week theme. Click on the link or scan the QR code. Voting ends Friday, October 6th. This is Jake. He's suffering from a classic case of senioritis. Symptoms include laziness, distress, laziness, don't be like Jake, be strong, you'll get through this. This week's trivia question is, how many months have 31 days in them? Is it A, 10, B, 5? C, 7, or D, 8. Last Saturday, the Liettes performed with their teachers at halftime of the football game for their annual teacher dance. Each Liette member had selected one of the administrators, counselors, or teachers as their dance partner for the performance. The teacher dance happens once a year where one of the dancers from either the Dixie Drillers or the Rebel Rousers asks a teacher to come and, and, and dance a routine with them at the halftime of one of the, dance, of the football games. Teacher dance started, um, I know for sure before I got here, I've been here for, it's my 11th year and it was a tradition um, before I got here, so it was important for me to keep that going. It's a lot of fun. Teacher, and then we're going to walk in these lines. So if I can have everybody 
students and teachers worked hard after school the week before the performance in order to memorize the routine. Practice to me is brutal. Not in that it's hard, but it's just not very long, and I'm not very talented. Uh, so it takes a, a while for me to learn these things and I'm kind of self-conscious about it. The practices with the teachers were so much fun because like we got to share a part of what we do every day with them so it's really nice. The practices were really fun. Um, we got to see our teachers like step out of their comfort zone and um, really show a different side of them. Well, we have two practices the week before and Miss Alanis does a great job of getting us ready and we learn the moves with our dance partner and they help us go through it and we practice and we learn ways to remember. Practices were a lot of fun. I know some teachers coming in were nervous or not knowing what to expect, um, but once we got started, um, the mood was lighthearted and fun and so I'm very proud of all of them. My favorite moment would be um, learning how to do the nay nay and the whip. <laughs> Can you do it for us? Really? Um, okay, so um, I think it's like something like that <laughs> and then like I think I got it <laughs> I think the best part was being in front of the crowd and hearing them cheer for us and and uh, my great dance partner Kayla Trejo really teaching me the moves so we can do the the nay nay and the, the whip and all the other stuff my favorite moment was dancing on the field with all the teachers and just like like feeling everybody just like looking at us, singing along, enjoying it, shouting out for us. It was amazing for being my senior year. In 1967, October 3rd, Woody Guthrie, folk singer of 1930s and 40s, dies at the age of 55. In the 30s, the Great Depression had started and had a big influence on his music. Woody, whom Bob Dylan would later call the true voice of American spirit, was a native in Oklahoma, born in 1912. He had started writing music while going through his experiences traveling to California. The album Dust Bowl Ballads, which had the famously known song, This Land Is Your Land, written in 1940, first recorded in 1944. And until this day, his music still influences us. So, uh, so uh, who do you think is better? Don Tello, dude, easily. Oh, uh, well, Leonardo's the captain. Well, Don Tello makes everything for the team. He Have you seen that truck? That was Donnie. Okay? It that doesn't matter. They're ninjas. <clears throat> hey. Just saying. I mean. I mean boy. In one year, how's the other? Did you just hand Jensen? Yep. <laughs> Lee Volleyball is in full swing. We talked to two of the players and Coach Wong about how their season is going so far. It's a good season. It's competitive. We have a lot of fun. Um, we're, we have a lot of chemistry on the team and I don't know, we all like each other so it's going well. Our volleyball season so far has been like a roller coaster. <laughs> we go up, we go down, we go up and we go down. We do really good things and then for a few plays we kind of let it die down and then we pick it back up. Just recently, our roller coaster is finally staying up. <laughs> We're being a little more successful and a little more consistent. I want to say uh, the biggest success that we've had was uh, coming together as a team. Uh, being close or having chemistry on the court is crucial for any sport, so I feel like accomplishing that was really big. It was, it was versus when we played Johnson, it was like the first set we just, it was the first game we 
we clicked and ever since then it's been good. Like, yeah, it's been our biggest success. Memorable moment will always be when the girls get their job done. And we've done that um, against Roosevelt when we played them. Uh, the girls, each and every one of them got the job done. The Lee Volleyball team has seven games left, including tonight at 7 p.m. versus the Churchill Chargers at Blossom. Be sure to go out and show your support. Last week in the Twitter poll, you will for dogs. This week in Twitter poll, what is your favorite breakfast? Eggs, toast, cereal, or tacos? Go to LHS Lee TV to vote. The Lee Volunteers and Churchill Chargers faced off in an exciting game last Saturday at Hero Stadium. The Chargers got off to a fast start with a touchdown early in the first, but a series of runs by Darnell Remigio ended in a field goal by David Rodriguez at the end of the first. Lee scored two touchdowns in the second, the first on a 71-yard run by Vincent Taylor and the other on a 46 pass from Steven Canto to Connor Hernandez, leaving the score tied to 17-17 at the half. The Chargers regained their momentum in the second half, scoring three touchdowns, but despite falling behind, the Vols finished strong, scoring a final touchdown in the last seconds of the game, resulting in a score of Churchill 38, Lee 24. The Volunteers return on October 14th at Kamalander Stadium, where they will take on the Reagan Rattlers. The answer is C. The months are January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. This concludes this week's episode of Lee TV. Please come out and support your Vols at upcoming events. And remember, there's, there's nothing, nothing stronger, stronger than, than the, the heart, heart of a volunteer. volunteer.